Today we are going to see some sums which are based on the chapter indices. I hope you all are very much versed with all the formulas of indices. Today the sums what we are going to do are slightly on higher side. The sums which we are going to do are based on ICSE curriculum class 9th syllabus. So let's start with the very first sum. What is the first sum given? Simplify within many many parentheses brackets in board. 1 minus curly bracket 1 minus 1 minus n whole raise to minus 1 curly bracket close minus 1 box bracket close minus 1. Now since you are very much aware about all the norms and if you are not aware still now you can always look at my previous slides where I have listed all the formulas and basic explanation of indices. Now within that we have one simple formula a raised to minus m is 1 upon a raised to m. a raised to minus m is 1 upon a raised to m. We are going to apply this formula over here in our sum. So let's see how the things work out. In this particular sum, we have to be very careful when it comes to brackets. First, we take the box bracket into account and just see what is the bar. The bar over here is raised to minus 1. So what happens? We start off with by eliminating this minus 1 by applying the law. So what is the first answer? The first answer is 1 upon. We are taking this minus 1. That is a raised to minus m is 1 upon a raised to m. 1 upon 1 minus curly bracket 1 minus 1 minus n minus 1 curly bracket close minus 1. So where did this minus 1 gone? This has turned into this particular formula. a raised to minus m is 1 upon a raised to m. Now we further, we further need to pay attention to this particular minus 1. Again the same law is going to get applied over here. 1 upon 1 minus. Now the curly brackets won't be there. The curly brackets are going to get off and we'll get 1 upon 1 upon inside 1 minus 1 minus n raised to minus 1. So first we got rid of this minus 1. Now we got rid of this minus 1. What next? On the same lines is what we need to proceed further. We get 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus. Now we are going to get rid of this one, applying the same law. 1 upon 1 minus n. 1 minus n. So eventually we have taken all the negative powers and we are up to this particular level. Now basic math is what we are going to apply LCM. When I apply LCM at this particular stage, what shall be my next part of the answer? I hope you are very much aware. I am just giving you a shortcut way how we go for an LCM. This, actually it has to be 1 into what? Right? But we are just making you understand in a very short manner. We just take LCM in this way. Let's start. So 1 upon. Go step by step. Do not do many steps at once. Go step by step. 1 minus 1 upon. This, when it comes over here, becomes... 1 minus n minus 1 whole upon 1 minus n. Now this one and this one shall get cancelled off. I am left with what? I am left with 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon minus n of 1 minus n in the denominator. Now do I need to go for an LCM over here? But prior to that what am I going to do is I am going to say that this minus sign and this minus sign which is there shall become plus. This minus out here and this minus out shall become plus. So what will be the next step? Our next step shall be our next step shall be 1 upon you can continue from here. So it is 1 upon 1. Now instead of this minus I will be taking minus of minus plus. So it is plus 1 upon n upon 1 minus n. n upon 1 minus n. Now what? Again we are going to go for LCM. What is the LCM over here? We shall say 1 upon. If you want you can take only this much. Only this much. And I shall say 1 plus. This one goes in the numerator. And I shall get 1 minus n the whole by n. The same LCM gets applied here as well. 1 upon n plus 1 minus n the whole by n. Minus n plus n gets cancelled off. We are left with 1 upon 1 by n. 
this n shall go up and we are having the final answer as n. So what was our sum? Our sum was within the box bracket 1 minus curly bracket 1 minus parenthesis 1 minus n parenthesis close raised to minus 1 curly bracket close minus 1 box bracket close raised to minus 1 the final answer eventually turns out to be as n. This is how we apply laws of indices step by step. Primarily in this particular sum we apply a raised to minus m is 1 upon a raised to m. Students only one care needs to be taken from your end. Wherever you apply the law, see to it, on those very steps is what you write down the law besides. For instance, that is what I mean to say is that I had applied the first law over here, so do mention a raised to minus m is 1 upon a raised to m. Likewise, did I apply the law in the successive steps? Yes, students, this is what I want to say. Wherever you apply whatever law, see to it that you write down the law besides it. Whatever law you apply, see to it that you write down the law besides it. Now, there are many more sums of this kind, this nature, which are going to come in my next slides. So, we are going to see many sums which are slightly on a higher side in indices. You can go through the next slides for high order sums. Thank you.